led by two-time Southern Conference Coach of the Year, Keith Esslinger. Your Chattanooga Mocs wrestling team is Chattanooga strong. That is amazing right there. How many times he snapped him and brought him back. Chattanooga is home to 29 SOCON tournament titles, 16 regular season championships, 151 individual champions, seven SOCON wrestlers of the year, and nine Division I All-Americans. You're watching Monday Mock Talk, hosted by head coach Heath Esslinger. Chattanooga wrestling fans, we know the season is getting close because today we have our first Monday Mock Talk of the 2016 2017 wrestling season and we are excited to share with you all that's going on with Chattanooga wrestling. We are currently in week four of preseason training. Our guys are doing a great job uh, training several days a week uh, in the mornings running and the afternoons lifting some open mat times uh, throughout the week but our guys are really doing an outstanding job of training really pushing themselves trying to get outside their comfort zones a little bit. To win at this level, it, you got to go to some dark places, and those dark places are hard to go to by yourself. That's why we have uh, a staff here to help take them there, and we're excited about where they're going. Uh, I think we're positioned to uh, really do some great things this year, and this preseason I think is teeing us up and really setting us up uh, for what I consider to be uh, an opportunity to have a really great year. There are some new faces on our coaching staff this preseason that are helping us prepare our guys. We obviously back in the spring added David Hoffman who was at Virginia Tech was a part of a trophy team finish uh, there last year spent six years at Bucknell then four years at uh, Virginia Tech University he was an All-American at Virginia Tech went to Bucknell came back to his alma mater uh, and really helped move Virginia Tech past that tipping point of, of a good team to a great team so we're excited about coach Hoffman he brings an unbelievable level of intensity a passion for wrestling we needed that on our staff. Anytime you're putting together a staff, you don't want to hire people that are just like you. You want to hire people that complement your, your weaknesses but believe in your strengths. And I believe Coach Hoffman was the right guy for the job. He understands recruiting, he understands training, and he's passionate about the wrestling room. And already we're seeing the, the fruit of his uh, being here in Chattanooga, and we're excited to see the fruit of that at the end of the year uh, when we're in St. Louis competing at the NCAA tournament. This summer we also brought on uh, to our regional training center, our coordinator of student athlete development, uh, Nick Brissetta. Nick was a three-time All-American at Virginia Tech. Nick, I believe, is one of the, the best up-and-coming coaches uh, in America. This guy gets it. He's got the it factor. He understands the wrestling room. He understands student athlete development, and he has been a huge addition to our staff, just bringing ideas uh, here and also just being in the mix, still training. So it's nice to have a guy in here who's young, who can who can get in here and bang heads every day and go. So he's gonna be a huge help getting our guys ready again. Everything pointing towards St. Louis and having our guys ready when we get to the NCAA tournament in March. We have done some great things on the athlete development side of things. Obviously we had a great camp system this summer. We had over 600 kids here on camp this summer in McClellan Gym, great time. We don't believe camps are just about wrestling. We believe camps are about coaching and athlete development. And I believe those coaches that come to Chattanooga Wrestling Camps would attest to that. Just a few weeks ago, we were out on Saturday morning, uh, September 3rd or 4th, I believe it was, for the 5K for FCA, helping what I consider one of the best organizations in the, in the youth and sport uh, arena with Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Our guys were out helping with their 5K uh, for FCA. Kudos to Jay Fowler, our own guy, Chris Walker, who's here at UTC for allowing us uh, to help with that. So tons of things going on. We believe that you have to develop the athlete in all three areas, the physical, the mental, and we got to develop their heart. So sometimes those are tricky, they're hard, but we, we work hard at doing those things and we believe that's why we've seen consistent success over uh, a long period of time here at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. For those of you that haven't seen, we have a great schedule this year for 2016-2017. We host Virginia, we go to Ohio and Kent State, uh, Southeastern, one of our own alumni, Javier Maldonado, will be back to open up the year November 5th. Our blue gold will be October 27th. We're looking to do that outside here on Chamberlain Field, where Chamberlain, uh, where the, the stadium was. We want to go outside for that October 27th at 7 p.m. We'll send out further details on that. And then we come back with a pretty good uh, home schedule after Christmas. One of the highlights of this year is Thursday, November 10th, when VMI comes to town, which is a conference match, we are going to have our candlelight dinner. Those tables are gonna be $400 a piece. That's $50 a seat. 
It will include valet parking, dinner, so if, if you were here at the last candlelight dinner, we believe this one's going to be an, even better, and we want to invite you to, to visit Go Mox, to call Troy Van Zyl in the development office, and, and go ahead and get your table reserved for that. It's going to be a great night of wrestling, a great dinner, and a great time to spend uh, with your family in a unique setting watching a wrestling match. We would love to encourage you, go to GoMox.com and buy season tickets. We're about halfway to our goal selling season tickets, so go, let's reach our goal of 100 season tickets this year for the first 50, and I think there's only a few left. We're going to have mat side seating for our home match with Virginia on Sunday, December 4th, so if you want those match, mat side seating, you better go on today, order your season tickets and secure those. Uh, for that match. Why are we so excited about our schedule? Why do we want you buying season tickets? It's not because of the teams we're bringing here, it's because the guys we're going to have competing for this team this year. Five guys in the preseason win magazine rankings at, at 141 pounds. Mike Pongratz was in there. We're actually going to flip flop that. That'll be Chase Zimanak. Pongo will go up to 149. Kamal Shakur in the rankings at 157. Sean Mappas in the rankings at 174, Scotty Boykin in the rankings at 197, and Jared Johnson back in the rankings uh, at heavyweight. That's a good solid nucleus. We also are going to put in some good guys. At 133, we have Chris Debian back. At 184, Bryce Carr, who had an outstanding year last year, will step in. There's some at, at 165, you know, that, that weight's up for grabs. We brought in Dylan Forzani from California. We're excited to see what he can do. And then at 125, I believe Alonzo Allen has had one of the best summers uh, that anyone on our team has put together. So there'll also be some other guys battling for those spots as well. So I'm excited about the 10 guys that we're going to put out there. I believe you're going to be excited and you're going to be eager to see them wrestle. So again, go on, buy tickets, get excited about what 2016, 2017, has to hold as we move toward getting over that hump, moving past that tipping point, and putting some guys on the podiums. This program has a lot of tradition. We want to carry on that tradition, and we want to move it further in this season. Thanks for tuning in to this first edition of Monday Mock Talk. We look forward to bringing you all Chattanooga Wrestling news throughout this year. Go Mocs!